M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yesu FT5DR. FXB, so we're going to add our G7 RPG All Star Micronode to our Yesu FT5D. So, this is how we do it. First thing we do is look at the back of the Micronode. On the back of the Micronode, Peter would have uh, given you a frequency 434550 which is a simplex frequency and a CTCSS tone. So let's go to the Yesu FT5 for that. So here's the radio and it's actually connected to it already. Um, so we'll turn the volume down and we'll go to VFO mode and we'll show you how we did that. So first thing is tap the screen. Well, what, I'll just say that we've put it into single mode by holding A and B. There's dual mode, there's single, and then VFO mode is here. Memory, VFO. So to, to enter the frequency, we just tap the screen. I just get, change its frequency. Tap the screen, actually hold, hold and press it on the FT5. On the FT3, you just tap it. Type in the frequency, so four, three, four, five, 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 oh. And that is what is written on the back of our box. And we want to make sure it's simplex, so make sure there's no minus shifts. If there is, just go, F, hold F menu, go to config, and go down to number, there it is, repeat 15, tap that. Tap repeat number 15 and it says simplex, you know, you've got plus or minus, but we want simplex. Let's go back. Now we need to make sure we've got tone squelch turned on. So hold down F menu, go to signaling and then go down to number squelch type, which is a number 11. Tap that and then select tone squelch but you could select dcs tone but the one i always do is tone squelch then back out then go to number 12 tone squelch frequency and on the back of our box let's just double check we've got 434550 77 hertz there so back to the radio we've selected 77 We're doing all this with the channel change knob then we go back 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 Okay, so we've got it all in there. We're gonna test it before we put it in the memory. So we've got tone squelch, 77, no shift, 434, and then mode. Mode, you wanna make sure you're on FM, and then the other one you wanna do is power. Hit FW, FW, <laughs> F menu, sorry. Go back, make sure if it says forward, go. So there's, if it says back, hit back. It says TX power, you want it quite low uh, if it's just your node at home, don't you? Unless you're going up the road. Right back out so that's all in there well the next thing is we're going to test it so what we're going to do we're going to just zoom out here to our node we're going to act like we've just got it delivered so we'll turn it around it's just come through the post we've put in the frequency now we're going to turn it on and we're going to hear the ip address i'll just pause it until it says it it does take about a minute or so okay should start talking now this is all automatic you flick the switch on the back it comes on while it's booting you get blue IP address. and then one, nine, two, dot, one, six, eight, dot, zero, dot, one, zero, four. so remember that put that IP address into your phone or your computer and you'll be able to go to the G7 RPG control panel but otherwise, um, we know that's working. Now let's we want to let's say we want to use the radio to DTMF into it. So on the FT5, you've got two options. I'll just show you that to DTMF. You, when you press the PTT, you get the option to go DTMF, and you can type it in. So star three four one five two two is what I use, or star four zero eight nine four for audio check. Um, well, hope, yeah, no one's going to hear me then, thank God, because I'm not connected. So, um, so we'll do the shortcut way, because what I've done is I've got it, I've 
pre-stored it in the memory. So we go DTMF and number one. And that's a pre we've now connected. If it doesn't work first time, you just do it again. There you are, that's connecting now. So, I'll just come off that for a second. So just to let you know, how do we um, do the automatic DTMF? So hold down FMW, go to signaling, then go to DTMF, which is memory, which is number five, tap that, and then you can tap any of these and you can store a number, star three, four, oh, eight, nine, four, and then just back out. And it will be, oh, maybe, maybe I should have pushed them F menu. Let's do that again. Star three, four, oh, eight, nine, four. There you are. That's it. So we've got two in there. And then to, so to make it use that, go back, go to DTMF mode and select auto. Now, if you want to, don't want to use auto, so push F menu there, change auto to manual. When you back out, like so, when you key and you do DTMF, you could just type in the actual number. So it's back out of that. So let's get to the right frequency again, as we were. So the last thing is to store it in our memory. So we just check that it's working. See that? That's that's um, Hubnet calling back to me. And when you do transmit, I'll just show you, like so. Connected to two E zero Z W H. Yeah, hi Steve. Yeah, sorry, can't hold it. Oh yeah, I was doing a test. Hope you're okay. M zero F X B. So you see it changing blue when it's just idle. Red, red on transmit. Red on transmit. And then when I key. Yeah, I'm just doing a video on how to connect to Hubnet with your new Yaesu FT5, and you're in it now, M0FXB. Oh, this is nice. Nice. Right, we're just going to show you how to put it into memory now. I know Steve, so he won't mind. Okay, so all you do, hold down. PI4. Turn that down a minute. Hold down VM. And then see that 18 is flashing. It's white, which means I can use that channel. If I click it one back with the channel changer, it goes red. That's no good. You want a blank one. So 18, hit VM again, and now we can name it. So we're just gonna name it Hubnet. So um, if you want a capital, all you do is just keep pressing where the H is till, till it gets big, there you are. And then U, uh, B, then N, E, use the arrow across if you have to, and then T, Hubnet. And then hold the VM again one more time, and you've got Hubnet in there. Okay? So that's all in there, and that's saved to memory. Look, if we go to VFO, move it around, go back to VM, look, Hubnet, and then look, we go back, there's Hubnet. So that's how you get in your G7 RPG node box into your Yesu FT5, all the right settings, and stored to memory. Hope this helps. If it does, please subscribe and like my channel. 7-3, all the best.